Hey gang, what's up today? Today's lesson is going to be on how to build campaigns and what campaigns are. So this is going to be another quick lesson. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to log into your system. You're going to go down on the left hand side. You're going to click marketing under marketing. You're going to click campaigns. Once you are in the campaigns, you will see a bunch of pre-built campaigns already in there for you. Um, if you don't have any, contact support and we'll give you some pre-built ones uh, to upload right into your system. In this case, we're going to edit one of the existing campaigns. Again, always the easiest way to do it. You can always obviously create a new campaign from scratch, which is also easy to do. But in this case, we're going to take a pre-built and we're going to design it out. So we're going to click on this Solana, Salon pop-up campaign copy. Okay. You'll see it in here, right here. Um, what we're going to do for this purpose is we're going to copy the campaign and rename it. So while we're in here, we'll do Salon pop-up test. Okay. Um, again, you won't be asked the location. That's only for our system, but in this case, we're going to copy it over. So we're going to go back to our campaigns now. And we should see that campaign and there it is. So we're going to go into that campaign and we're going to do a quick edit. What a campaign is, it's a series of messages that go out when something happens. The something happening is either a trigger or something else in one of your marketing campaigns, such as a Facebook ad that sets this off. And we'll go in that into that in detail. But for today's lesson, we're just going over how to do campaigns. So remember, the first thing you want to do when you are in a campaign is if you need to edit the name, you can edit the name. OK, second thing you're going to do is in this case, um, we see it's in draft mode. We want to put it into publish mode. Otherwise, it will not go anywhere. Third thing we want to do always in a campaign is set up the configuration. OK, so when you go into the configuration campaign configuration tab, you're going to scroll down. You're going to want to put whatever your addresses that you're sending it out from. We just have offers at your salon that might be offers at the name of your salon dot com whatever you want to put in there. And you're going to want to put a name of who it's coming from and what it is. This is what the person getting the email or text is going to say. OK, um, with that being said, you can also assign a lead value for that campaign. What a lead value is, is how much was that advertisement worth? In other words, if you're doing a 50 percent off $100, it might be $50 in here. You can put it in there. OK, um, next thing you want to do is always allow multiple stop on response. OK, and your event start date. That's super important. Ninety nine percent of the time you're just going to hit now. OK, if you wanted to schedule it out at some previous uh, some future date, you could do that also. But most of the time you're going to use now. So we'll click now for now and we'll hit save. Remember to hit save. Otherwise, it will not save. OK, that takes you into the actual campaign. OK, so we were in the campaign configuration tab. Now we are in the campaign. You'll see in here we have a series of emails and text messages over the course of five days. OK, first thing you want to do is, is whatever the action is, you're going to have your first action, which is zero minutes. That's what's going to happen immediately when somebody fills out something to trigger this campaign. OK, you can set those times over here on the right hand side. OK, in this case, we're saying after zero minutes. This is going to go out and you'll see the whatever the time is right here also. OK, down here, obviously, this one's going out three hours later. You see it over here, three hours, three days, four days, five days. You can set those all over in the time frames. Next thing you're going to want to do is go into each um, email and or text message or voicemail, whatever you're sending out in these automated campaigns, and you're going to do the edit of each one. OK. So in here, you might come in here and you can edit this template, whatever you have in here. This is where you're going to create your email. OK, up here, you can leave it email one. You can name them if you'd like to. Um, this is important. In this case, this is the line that the person is going to see. In this case, your voucher contact first name in the brackets means that it's pulling the person's first name out of the system itself, out of our system. So whenever you see brackets, you know it's pulling automatic data. Those are called custom values. OK, so you're going to design your emails and your text messages and you're going to hit save. OK, once you save them, um, that's all you have to do. Text message, same thing. We can go in here, look at what a text looks like. 
So in this case, it's going their first name, right? It's Gina from Platinum Salon. Now you might put it's so-and-so from so-and-so salon. Thanks for signing up for your new client special, that kind of thing. You can put your booking links and other stuff inside of them. Keep in mind the text messages, you can see how much that text message will cost you at the bottom, an approximate cost. So in this case, this is one and a half cents, this size text message. The carriers do charge us, so we pass it on to you at cost. Okay, so keep that in mind, very important as you're building these. You can also test them, just send them, send the test messages to your phone to see what it looks like. Again, important that you save them after you do them. Um, if you wanted to add different events or move events around, you can drag and drop them, or you can add events, very simple. You just hit add event. What is it that you wanna to add to the campaign? Okay, you might add Facebook Messenger, a voicemail. Um, Webhook is an advanced uh, strategy, which we'll show you later. Um, but for right now, the majority of you are going to be using email, text, and voicemail drops. Okay, so that's the basics of a campaign, folks. I will be back to teach you another lesson soon. Thank you.